Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and comment. Um, so, welcome to my channel if you're new here. So, today's video is going to be about drawing books, and I'm going to show you some of my favorites that I been processing on over the years. Um, some of you have been asking how long have I've been drawing and I've probably around four or five years. I started 2014. So um, anyways, the first book I have here is Action Cartooning um, by Ben Caldwell. Yeah, and it just basically shows like step to step focus. I don't know if I can show you anything because of copyright, but it just basically shows you step to step, um, like faces, like I'll show you actually, I have my sketchbook here and I've copied, well not really copied, but referenced, um, some of the, um, drawings in here if I can find my pages, but this is something like you could get out of from this book, um. So, like, different faces, like, face shapes and everything, um, you can learn from this book. Um, it's a really good book. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite, um, books to look at when I need inspiration or anything. I just like to look at this book right here. So, I'll probably list a link to it in the description on Amazon where you can get yours. Um, probably all. I have three books to show you, but I'll leave a link in the description description um in that case so the next one is manga girl power by christopher hart um i love this book um this is good for beginners um i get it has step to step and some side note notations but this is also a really good book um he has a lot of books out um so yeah i'll check this one out uh so it has shows you Step to step how to do illustrations and here how to do hairstyle, how to draw manga eyes. Um, but I have a lot of manga books um, on my shelf uh, if you're interested in me reviewing a couple of them. But these are my top 30 favorite books. This is actually the first book I purchased um, when I started drawing, so I was like, I'm kind of attached to this book, so yeah. Um, my next book, and uh, this video might be really short, um, only because I'm not showing you the full pages, because it's not technically a review or anything. Um, this is just my favorite book, uh, but I go off of funny inspiration or anything. But we, some of you have been talking about poses and poses for artists. I have this book, The Queen Book of Poses for Artists. Um, it shows, like, different uh, poses and sketches uh, of how to draw the poses. So this is a really good book. If you want to practice just to draw, like set your timer for five minutes or two minutes or three minutes or something like that and just to draw from here. And it's a really good reference. It has sports. It has, um, to look through. It has sports, ballerinas, um, like sitting poses. And it just basically has drawing demonstrations, and, and I'm sorry if I can't show you, I just, I don't want to do any copyright issues, but I just like to show you my favorite books I like to use. Uh, those are the top three books I have, um, that I use daily, so, well not every day, but you know what I'm trying to say. But anyways, if you like this video, if you have any favorite drawing books of your own, let me know in the comments. Um, I will be happy to use the link for these books. So these are the books I have. I have this one, this one, and this one. So these are the books that I kind of went over um, with. I think they usually cost around, this is $20, uh, this one's $20, 1995. Um, this one's Nine ninety five. You can find these two at Michaels, or actually all of them at Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, and this one's around thirty dollars, but this one is really worth it because 
has lots of poses, poses and references that I can see here, like a pose of Valerina. So, yeah, I really love these books. And if you liked this video, I can do more like this um, in this way. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.